Hey, sneaking is better day. Today we've got Linux Mint 10 or Julia. Now, you know, Linux Mint is one of the most popular distros out there, <clears throat> and there's certain reason why it is because it's quite simple to use and it comes with a lot of stuff like codecs and bits and bobs and lots of programs that you'd like. So yeah, that's pretty good. So I'll give you a quick look around for you. I know some people have already done it, but I'm just going to do it my style. If I mean, menu is nice. This is why people like it. The menu is quite nice and simple. Software manager there, package manager, control center, terminal, lock, quit, and stuff like that. <coughs> Excuse me. And there's some other stuff here as well. So software manager. We'll open up the software manager and see what we've got inside. As you can see, it's very similar to the Ubuntu software center, because that's basically what it is at the end of the day. But let's have to check it out, shall we? So you've got featured desk. Should we have a look in there or not? Yeah, have a look in there. Now, VLC is already installed, as you can say, but you've got Chromium web browser there. You've got Gparted, Opera is there, Skype is there. There's a lot of stuff that you'd always want to use. Google Earth's in there. Wine's in there. Hamrock's in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And stuff like that. Plenty of stuff in there. Old mini tubes in there. I quite like that. And Myro's in there. Don't forget yourself, Myro. You can go and watch me on there if you want to. Yeah, but there's plenty of stuff in this centre that you would want to use. That's pretty cool. Rather like it, actually. Do you like it? I do. But this is why it's so popular, really, because it's all quite nicely laid out. Sometimes it doesn't run so well and stuff like that. I've had a few problems in the past with older versions. But from 9 onwards, it weren't too bad, to be honest. Not too bad at all. There's plenty in Office, as you can see. Abbey Word's in there. Look. Oh, Abbey Word. Do you like a bit of Abbey Word? It's got a few reviews, but only three stars. So I wonder why that is. So we're going to, to check it out over here. And one person says it loads, and one person said it hasn't got no stuff, it doesn't do anything. But hey, you must have all the extras when you get Abbey Word. <clears throat> now, some of the distros, you can't get the add-ons for Abbey Word, and this is why it doesn't do all the stuff that you want it to do. So that's told anybody who's interested in that. Anyway, I'm going to install it, see how it checks out on the old machine. Put the big long password in, and we wait a little while, a little while, and it starts downloading. And basically, what you can do, you have a read, as you can see on the bottom bars going along at the bottom, all nice and green, 18%. I did cut this video a little bit because it got a bit boring, because I was waiting. The net went a bit slow, not as slow as it used to be, but it went a little bit slow. So, anyway, we're at the end, doing the installing bit, nicey, nicey, nicey. Once it's all done, we can check some stuff out, so that's nice. Yeah, but you know, I do like Abbey Word because it's smooth. Most people don't need open office, the big office suite, because you just ain't going to use it, are you? You're only going to write letters most of the time. But hey, some people might want it, you know. Don't shoot the messenger, you know what I'm saying? So there you go. Excuse me. We'll go up to our applications, and we'll try and find Abbey Word. You know what? It's not there. What's gone on? Not in office. It's not anywhere. What has happened? Now, if, this is why I've left off doing this video, because I've been playing around with it to make sure it would install. And do you know what? It don't like installing. It really, really don't. So there's a little problem there in the works. I'm going to boot up it again later on today and see if it does work again, or if there's any updates in the repos for Mint. There probably is loads, because I haven't booted the Mint machine up for the Mint machine up for well, ooh, a good week. Must be about a week, yeah. Anyway, Firefox is your standard web browser. And there's no connection. So what's gone on there then? And it's trying to connect to the Linux Mint community start page. Now I thought, well, I know I've got a network connection because I've just downloaded, or supposedly downloaded, Abbey Word. Right? I supposedly, and it said it was installed. So I know I've got a net connection. And I know I've got a net connection. Anyway. So anyway, we'll try a different page. We'll, know, we'll go to the BBC. Check it out. Yeah, it's no problem working whatsoever. Look, lovely. So I found out a bit later, the Mint page was a Mint section was having a whole, whole bad day. They wasn't having their usual mintiness, really. They was unminted. In actual fact, they wasn't even a polo. Not even a polo centre. They weren't even minty at all. They'd gone all fruity and not there. Lost the plot completely. As you can see, I've clicked on the link there. Nothing's happening whatsoever. Oh, blimey, at last. But can you see how slow that is? So obviously, there's lots of people downloading, or they've got a bit of a problem. Oh, it could be a bit of both, you know? Could be a bit of both. Yeah. Anyway, as you can see, the latest events and stuff, and all the rankings of different programs and names and stuff they do on the community. They do lots and lots of stuff. If you're really into Mint, check it out. Check it out completely, and you'll be all fine. So if you scroll down there a bit, look, you can learn lots and lots, top software, what they like, and stuff like that. VLC, of course it's by the top software. It does everything you want it to do, otherwise it wouldn't be worth being done, really, would it, at the end of the day. I've got some more reviews up here, etc. I could go on. I'll open shot, yeah. Now, some people like OpenShot, 
other people don't like it. But if you want an intermediate video editor, it ain't too bad, to be really honest with you. Although, make sure you do set up your settings to what it wants to save to at the end of the day. So, if you know what format you want to go to, make sure you set that. Otherwise, it doesn't come out right. And then you have to start all over again, and you get all angry and stuff like that. And you don't want to do that, do you? Right, backgrounds. And now I thought, oh, are there new backgrounds? Well, there's a couple of new ones, and quite a few old ones, to be honest with you. That's another thing I used to like about Mint, because you've got some nice backgrounds. But, I put, left some of the oldie ones in here, which I thought was not very good, really. Because I've used this one, look. It says 9, and it's not number 9, I'm on number 10, so you can boot that one out, or put a different number in, please, thank you very much. What about here? We click on here. Did I tell you it was GNOME Desktop, by the way? Yeah, it's GNOME. Oh, this is one of the classic Linux Mint desktop in backgrounds, really. Classic, that is. It's nice. Water coming down. LM in the middle. Lovely. Super. Anyway, I'm going to go to the Control Center. Now, if you've used it before, you can just fast forward this bit if you really want to. But if you've not, or you've not done seen this thing, or done this sort of thing before, just check it out. Everything you want to do to your system is in here, really. Plenty of stuff to your playlist. So if you want to check out your monitors, there you go, look. There's my mono resolution. I can change it if I wanted to, make it really super duper, or even super duper than it already is. You can use it to start up this creator. You can use some backup tools here. The main blockers for safety reasons. Synaptic packet managers there, obviously. System monitor is the same system as an Ubuntu. I mean, it is Ubuntu based in the day of Ubuntu stroke Debian. This is, I don't think this is the Debian offshoot, by the way. Uh, not using hardly any memory. Very good. I like. I like it when I don't use too much memory. That's good for me. You can do all your other stuff down here, Sun Java, wireless drivers, it should work actually. I've got one of those little Edimax things on here and it works fine, so don't worry about it. Works fine, that's really current one. So yeah, that's nice, nice desktop. Still you have to like the desktop. Package manager, have we been to package manager? I think I, no, I haven't been to that one, I've just check it out. So wait a minute, wait a minute, and it, synaptic package manager, so I want to just put synaptic package manager, not just package manager. Do annoy me sometimes. That's really annoying me. Anyway, if we search for open shot, and you chuck it in the synaptic there. I could have gone to the other one, but I'm going to do it from here, just in case. Open shot's in there. If you want to download and install it, you know what to do, but if you've not done it before, this is what you do. You just tick the box, and then click apply and download it, and then it'll install for you, which is rather nice. Now, that's about all I can say about Linux Mint today. Now, I... Lots of people like it. It's never been one of my best faves at the end of the day. I don't know why. It's just, I don't know. But it does work, mainly, most of the time. It's a pity about the Abbey Word, though. That was a little bit of a bummer at the end of the day, wasn't it? Yeah. But if you like it, download it, try it out. Yeah, they might have fixed it by now, so you'd be all honky dory Yeah, super duper. Anyway, that's enough from me. Have a nice day. Sneaky Linux, going out to have your dinner. i see you later. Bye.